Welcome back to Jerk Squad. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jim. And I'm Rel. And today we're going to be checking out Misery 1990. And this was the winner of our last Patreon poll. If you want to be a part of the decision making, join Patreon, guys. And the full uncut version of this reaction will also be on Patreon. Shout out to our top tier patrons. We appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now let's get right into it, guys. So he's writing a book. Paul Shelton, untitled. Yeah, nothing better than that first puff. <laughs> we got it. Okay. Misery. It's Tawanda. That's her name? I think so. Kathy Bates. Wow. So he left at the wrong time. Should have stayed. Stephen King? I did not know that. This is gonna be good. Yes. Stephen King. What? Dude. What? He's not... He can't see, so why not just stop? He's gonna crash. What the hell? Oh my gosh. He should have just waited. What's that? Old friend. He made it? I wrote my first book. I used to carry it around. I was a writer. You're still a writer. The first printing for Misery's Child was the most ever. Over a million. You go and kill her. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten rid of her now, I'd have ended up writing her forever. I'm leaving for Colorado to try to finish the new book. Oh, so this, this is, what... is what happened. Yeah. I might just have something I want on my tombstone. Oh my gosh. It's not a tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Who is even out there to help him? And why? Yeah, it's Where like so white like? outside, you can't see anything. This person is brave. I mean, his mouth is all bloody, bloody too. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Very mindful. Very demure. <laughs> <laughs> see how this person is just carrying him on his back? Yeah. <laughs> Very thoughtful. I'm your number one fan. I'll take good care of it. I'm your number one fan. Tawanda. Yes. Number one fan. That sounds that's scary. That's dangerous. <laughs> Been here two days. You're gonna be okay. My name is Annie Wilkes. I'm also a nurse. Oh. Even more dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take these. She can make him sicker. <laughs> the sickest. So he can stay forever. So, you're telling me that she was the one that took him? Yeah. She's strong. She's really strong. They're called Navril. They're for your pain. Sure. Are they to paralyze him? <laughs> he has no choice. I come on that hospital. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. I mean, she has a point. So, what, what was she doing outside? <laughs> Hi. Will I be able to walk? Of course you will. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. <gasps> Why do oh they look like gosh? that? I have a compound fracture of the tibia and both legs are fractured too. No. And as soon as the roads open, take you to a hospital. But it looks sunny outside. Can she try now? Yeah. Oh Did she do that to him? I feel like that's what happened. Oh, Sheriff. Well, I'm pretty sure they're both not busy. I'm your number one fan. Uh-uh. <laughs> Paul Sheldon might be in some kind of trouble. Silver Creek Lodge for years to finish his book. They said he checked out last Tuesday. How many days has it been? I guess a week. Nothing's been reported out here. I'll put his name through our system. If anything turns up... I That's the system? <laughs> Got a phone call. Busy morning. Yeah, work, work, work. <laughs> a phone call. Nothing happens here. <laughs> In a way, I was following you. Some nights I just tool on down there and sit outside and try to imagine what was going on in the room. That's so He's creepy. He's not feeling creeped up? Why a literary genius would go for a drive when there was a big storm coming. I, I didn't know there was a big storm. Oh, oh didn't he didn't know. listen to the news. The misery novels. I know them all by heart. I think the phone lines will be up. Once the roads are open, the phone lines will be up in no time. There is a new Paul Sheldon book. Do you want to read it? If you wouldn't mind. No. They're my editor. My agent, but it saves me from freezing to death in a car wreck. 
Oh, so she's going to read it. She, he doesn't have a choice. She probably read it already. Maybe she started. Maybe she finished it. It's been a few days. Like clockwork, the way your pain comes. It's, it's the pills nice. that are making him feel pain. What's your new book called? I don't have a title yet. You can tell me what you think it's about. Maybe you can come up with a title. Nothing unusual about Mr. Sheldon's leaving. You can tell by the champagne. What about his car? Drives up from New York in the same car each time. 65 Mustang. So he has a daughter, but no wife? What happened to her? Well, it's brilliantly written, but then everything you write is brilliant. The swearing, Paul. It has no nobility. Everybody talks like that. They do not. Now, Wally, give me a bag of that effing pig bee. What's happening? <laughs> give me some of your Christing money. Oh my gosh. There, what? Look there. See what you made me do! Huh? <sighs> oh, Paul, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Was she abused as a kid? Yeah. Sometimes I get so worked up. Something's not right. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like when a parent gets mad and then mm -hmm. they're like, oh, sorry. That's why I'm wondering if that's why she's like this. It's just. I love you, Paul. Oh, Your mind. He didn't even say much and she got so riled up, like, what? Does he realize what's happening? I think so. Well, it sure is fun. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in this car, you're not my wife, you're my deputy. This deputy would rather be home under the covers with the sheriff. <laughs> Stop! What? She's got a broken limb. Could have been a lot of things. Good detective. Good sheriff skills. Well, he's focused. Mm, the car is covered, right? Ugh. Need some help? <laughs> it's probably right behind that little snow hill. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Look at it. We're so wheel. close. You really think Sheldon's out there? If he is, he's dead. <gasps> Look at the way she just passed them. I hope I didn't wake you. Look what I got. I slammed my money down. I got the first copy. Okay. And the roads are open. Yes. One to town is, but that's about it. I called the hospital and I he said as long as there's no infection, you're not in any danger. But it looks infected oh. to me. It's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Phone's working. Well, mine's still out. Wow. Oh, Paul. I picked at the very beginning. How's he gonna get out I of this? I hate this for him. Daughter's Same. gonna be going nuts. Her birthday is today. Oh no. Oh, Paul, what a poet you are. I made you my specialty. Oh no, someone help this guy. It's not just great, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect thing. You should stop taking those pills. Just pretend that he swallowed it. Is she even a nurse? <laughs> Like, oh my gosh. I'm wondering. No. Well, maybe. And maybe that's why she knows what to give to him so that he won't die. Paul, oh, say hello to my favorite beast of misery. He's actually tired of misery. Mm -hmm. And she keeps talking about it. <laughs> this is torture, isn't it? Yeah. The haunting. Yep. I'm on page 300 now, Paul. It's divine. The Sistine Chapel. Yeah. That and Misery's Child. Those are the only two divine things ever in this world. What? She's not well. Nope. That was very strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she has no when children, husband no left husband. Me, I wasn't prepared. Oh. She brought up the husband. Well, I thought I might go crazy. Uh, As you did, did, sweetie. Night shifts can be lonely at a hospital. I did a lot of reading. That was when I first discovered misery. It made me so happy. I had a little something to do with that, too. I'm, uh, um... <gasps> oh, gosh. A pretty special guy to make me want to walk down that aisle again. She's like... It boils she... down to respect. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely a nurse. Because what? <laughs> I'm right at the end. You gotta find out what happened. Huh? How could you? She can't be dead. 
Oh, Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Misery Spirit is still alive. Uh. I don't want her fat! I want her! She just slipped away. Slipped away! <laughs> She's yeah. losing it. <laughs> oh, gosh. What the hell? You did it! What? Annie! I don't think I better be around you for a while. Okay. So let him go. <sighs> the... And don't even think about anybody coming for you. Not your family. Well, at least she's she's telling the truth now. Nobody yeah. knows you're here. If I die, you die. That's so sad. Now yeah, this was... is truly misery. Yep. She's leaving. Where's she going? Maybe she has another house. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa. Hey. Ooh. Oh, look at this no. one. <gasps> oh, gosh. This poor guy just needs to get to a phone, you know. Maybe she doesn't have any phones here. Of course, it's locked. I didn't hear any keys oh. or so or any latching. I was listening for it, but she just closed the door and went, so I don't know how it's locked. According to the check on Sheldon's credit charges, there's nothing after the Silver Creek. What are you doing on the floor? I'd had a proper hospital bed. This never would have happened. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Comfy? Perfect. I'm such a kidder. The way he's just going along with the flow. Smart guy. Yeah. The things they were asking me on the witness stand in Denver. Hmm? What? <gasps> She's gonna burn the book that he wrote? She wants him to burn it. It's the only copy. This is his hard work. You must rid the world of this filth. My agent made dozens of copies. Ooh. Every publishing house. Is he lying? I think he's lying. Then light the match, Paul. It's no big deal. So you vindicate it. Do it. She knows he's lying. She's too smart because she's crazy. <laughs> wrote your first book and you didn't make a copy, but never made any copies because you're superstitious. That's why you always come back to the Silver Creek Lodge. And drive the same car. What the hell? She knows everything about him. As long as it does exist, your mind won't ever be free. <sighs> Can't you see it's what God wants? You're so brilliant, I hell? would think. You put on this earth to help people, Paul. Look at the help. <laughs> help me help you. Please, help me help you. What if he lights himself instead? Well, that's very savage of him. Very brave. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. Oh, goodness. Maybe he can write about this if he survives. And that's the Wilkes farm straight ahead. That's no 65 Mustang. Oh, but he's in there. No, they're leaving. He's really looking for him, you know. Yeah, I mean, if she's like that, you know. Isn't this nice? Right. I always wanted to visit the other side of the room. <laughs> An electric razor. So you can shave yourself now. Fantastic. I'd have surprise. I'd have burned all my books. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he like this? He's so funny. Writers do need a place to work. What in the world do you think I'd write? Your greatest achievement ever. Misery's return. It'll be a book in my honor. Saving your life and nursing you back to health. <laughs> Paul, you're going to make me the envy of the whole world. So she's going to force him to write? The view will inspire you. I'll be right back. What's that? I got you this expensive paper to type on. Great deal on this 50-pound clunker on account of it's missing an N. It's one of the letters in my favorite writer's name. It's, it's two of the letters in my favorite nurse's name. Annie. <laughs> you fooler. Perfect. This guy's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I always want people to react to psychos. Yeah, but they don't. They, they don't. They do the opposite and they get killed sooner. It smudges. Though I don't see how it can smudge. It does happen. It does smudge after all. I'd, I'd like for you to be in on everything, Annie. He's really <laughs> smart. He is. Apparently she wants to be 
so important. Any other crucial requirements that need satisfying? Because if you want, I'll bring back the whole store for you. Go out of my way for you. I do everything to try and make you happy. Oh, you bought the wrong paper, Annie. <laughs> A little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Mr. Whoa. Man? Yeah. Well, she locked the door this time. I heard that. Oh. He had to do what he had to do. Yeah. <laughs> She's driving so angry. <laughs> it's really scary when she blows up. Like, <laughs> you don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it worked. Nice. I don't know what actually works. All he needs is just one phone call. Yes. It's right there. Hurry. Oh, jeez. Please. How far is town? <laughs> She's fast. <laughs> is it not working? <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. For real. She's really crazy. She thinks about everything. Peak crazy. I know boss crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. He caught it. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> no, she's still she's gonna, gonna notice. notice. Turn it the other way. Dude. She's definitely gonna notice that. <sighs> You might as well have let it fall because then maybe she could have think, okay, could have been the wind. Look at that. Could she have has been a picture anything. of him in all the books for real. Okay. <laughs> Why does her driving look so so crazy? Like she's not doing much, but it looks crazy, you know? <laughs> it's all that crazy energy. <laughs> he took some of some of the pills. I'm wondering what he's gonna do with that. Yeah. Is he gonna put it in something for her of hers, like water? Yes. Oh, he's in big trouble. There's no way he can get back before she comes in. <laughs> Run! She's gonna notice that penguin though, so how long will it take her to notice? Okay, good. I don't know, how long do you think she oh, I've got your paper. He's, He's all showing. sweaty. Poor. Paul dripping with perspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting here suffering. I want my pills now. I want my pain to go away, honey. Make it go away. It just breaks my heart to see you like this. <laughs> Crazy girl. The main reason I've never been more popular is because of my temper. My genius needs his rest before he writes. My genius. He's her property now? In case you think of any ideas, think of me as your inspiration. Oh, yeah, yeah he should. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. Yes. There it is. There it is. I know that he somehow managed to crawl outside his vehicle. Don't know that if anyone had found him, they would have taken him to an area hospital. No, not really. Look, is he gonna someone notice? cried it open. Come on. You don't think he's dead, do you? Nope, nope. Well, he might well be, but not yeah. the way they say. Exactly. He never crawled out of that car by himself. That's the thing. Oh, he's really smart. Yes, I wanted him to open it. Not that he can tell, but like, what does it taste like? I wonder what it is. I'm wondering how he's gonna, you know, get her to eat it. Yeah. yeah. Like ingest <laughs> something I like don't that. Know. Because maybe tell her to have a drink with him. Oh, <laughs> the way he's typing. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Paul. This is all wrong. What? You'll have to do it over again, except for that part of naming the gravedigger after me. You can leave that in. 
When I was growing up, favorite thing in all the world was to go to the movies on Saturday afternoons for the chapter plays. Cliffhangers. I know that, Mr. Man. I'm not stupid, you know. Mr. Man? Knocked him out and welded the door shut off a cliff before he could escape. And it crashed and burned. And they always start with the end of the last week. And just before the car went off the cliff, he jumped free. This isn't what happened last week. He didn't get out of the cock a duty car. What, girl? <laughs> so she's been insane from, you know, like a kid? Yes. Not with my misery. Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. She's always been like that. What happened? Was she born like that? Or was it that something happened to her? And it seems like she was born a psychopath. Is she satisfied? Should I continue? You better. When Ian realized that the reason they'd buried Misery alive was because the bee sting had put her in that temporary coma. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> will she be your old self or will she have amnesia? Special perfect love. You'll have to wait. I can't believe this lady. What the? Misery's alive. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Yes. yes. See? That's what he was planning. It would be an honor. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, he's not here. He's probably out having an affair somewhere. Gosh, so he's not. He's not. He wants to know who you're having an affair with. <laughs> I mean, if they check the store and they find that someone has been buying papers. Yeah. Well, whoever she is, she sure likes to read a lot. I'm flattered that you think I've got that much energy. <laughs> For an affair story about a guy who drove his car off a cliff in a snowstorm? It's just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. <laughs> so romantic. So she didn't notice the thing Not yet. Not yet. It's Look right her. there. She's gonna notice. I've never had meatloaf this good. Get that little extra zip and mix in some spam with the ground beef. Let's have a toast. Toast. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How is he gonna slip it in? To misery. Tell her to get something, like the pills? Let's do this right. Do you have any oh, candles? Oh, nice. No. I'll go look. Let's, let's do this right. Do you have any candles? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> hurry, dude. I just, you really think so? Candlelit dinner with Paul Sheldon in my own house. She really likes to feel special. I get goosebumps every time I think about it. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. it's over. So Why is she so poor, Paul? Never forgive me. <laughs> no. I cannot oh. believe that that was his only chance. Can we pretend this never happened? To misery. Misery. <laughs> to misery. To misery. <laughs> Chapter 12. She's well protected. She is. His legs, they're just not healing. Oh my gosh. How long has it been? Oh, it's working out. Nice. Upper body strength. Yep. You need it. Uh -oh. Why is she looking like that? Calls. She's sick? What's wrong with her? Annie? Annie, what is it? The rain. Sometimes it gives me the blues. When you first came here, I only loved the writer part of Paul Sheldon. But now I know I love the rest of him too. I know you don't love me. Don't say you do. You're beautiful. You'll never know the fear of losing someone like you. Why would you lose me? The book's almost finished. And you're gonna kill him? Your legs are getting better. Soon you'll be wanting to leave. Why would I leave? I like it here. <laughs> but it's not altogether true. <laughs> yep. That's what I was thinking. She's gonna kill him. Sometimes I think about using it. I better go now. Unhinged. I might put bullets in it. What? So this is love. <laughs> She's like, I love you and whatnot, but what? <sighs> Where's she going? I don't know. So that's why she's sad because now she has to kill him. She's really crazy. Oh, she's going for bullets for real? Yeah. And she left in the robe and everything. She didn't even put on anything else. The rain really gives her the booze. <laughs> He did everything she asked. There is just fire than that old man. 
I will be judged by him. The memory lane. Falls to her death, top nursing student. So she got the top because of the other one died. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She got rid of that person. Intensive Maybe care the, unit? The what? person was her father. Oh, the Wilkes the, person? Yeah. Death of child, second newborn. Even babies? Why is she newborns? What's wrong with her? So how did she get out? Yeah, how is she out and about? Like, Maybe she was off the hook. Oh, but she's crazy. How could they do that? Love connection. Is she standing over him? Oh, oh my gosh. God. That's so scary. <gasps> what? No. He has no chance. She's too smart. But I'm having such a wonderful I know you've been out. Because of the penguin, because of maybe the missing knife. You've been out of your room. And the rolling of the wheels on the floor. Yeah. No, I haven't. A little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. Oh, yes. The penguin. She's a true psychopath. Penguin. Yeah. Is this what you're looking for? I found your key. I can imagine what you might be thinking of me. But you see, Paul, it's all okay. <laughs> it's all okay. Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. They had to make sure they could go on working, but they also had to make sure they could never run away. <gasps> the operation was called hobbling. No. Oh, no. Oh, God. Look at his legs. They're healed. No. No. Please don't do it. No. It's over. No. <gasps> Gosh, I cannot do this. What? God, I love you. I'm not gonna be okay. She broke his ankles. If only you could check, check on this, the check on the background of this lady. Well, I have to tell you, I have a system. What is it? I'm not sure. Maybe not. <laughs> Spice. Look at this, see? There she is. There is a justice higher than that of man. I will mm -hmm. be judged by him. That's from the book. Yep. So how did he know that that line would be He just has the important. He just has that instinct, you know, that detective instinct. Good. Hi, pumpkin! <laughs> Such a kidder. Yes, check what she's been buying. This poor man, his legs were broken twice. Like, he knows. No! Fight her? Oh, no. So sad. She's gonna hide him. When are we going to develop a sense of trust? Wow. Oh, my. Why would she open her door? You didn't give me a chance to knock. For real. I guess you happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? Well, he was born in Worcester, Massachusetts 45 years ago. The only child of Franklin and Helene Sheldon. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books. Mind if I take a look around? That accident almost killed me, too. He's the only one that knows. He didn't even tell his wife. God told me to get ready to be his replacement. She's saying she wrote the book. And I bought a typewriter and paper to type on wow. the same. And I turned the guest bedroom so, into a writing studio. She's trying to pretend like that's why she's been buying stuff. Yeah. Because she, she's so smart. Would you like a nice hot cup of cocoa? No. No, really. I don't it's care. It's no trouble. No, don't do it. You, you've you already seen. made? Hell no. You've seen what she's done. <laughs> don't do it. You can't enjoy your own company. You're not fit company for anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Better be careful. He's really fighting. He's trying to wake up, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even subconsciously. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> God. This man is trying to survive. Here you are. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Good. Leave. Quickly. 
You didn't even taste your cocoa. If you just wanted, perhaps I could pay you another visit. Scream! Oh, careful! Does he have a gun? Where's his gun? Because she has a gun. No! Oh, this is gonna go south! Here! I'm down here! No! What? Great, you're gonna get locked up down there too. What? Whoa! Oh my gosh! I hate this. This poor man. He doesn't deserve this. His wife. Now don't be afraid. I love you. I love you too. We are meant to be together. We must finish the book. We'll be able to give misery back to the world. He knows she cares about it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the only thing she cares about. That's the only way to stall. I'll fix you something to eat. I'll need three things. I was woolen, silly. You need a cigarette because you used to smoke, but you quit, except when you finish a book. Oh, that's why he did it. Matches to light it. One glass of champagne. I'm almost done. Oh, Paul, this is so romantic. Is she, is he gonna threaten to burn it? Did I do good? Except for one thing, two glasses. Oh, Paul. So romantic. <laughs> oh, okay. Will this even work? <laughs> Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? It's all right here. Oh. Or will it be Winthorpe? It's all right here. <laughs> Paul, you can't! <gasps> Misery's over! See, that's what you get. Oh, Yo, she's tough. Oh my gosh. He's plucking the. Oh! Whoa. He got really strong because he was. Oh! Damn it! Whoa! pretty bad i think she's dead right nah too easy she's not dead come on Paul, you need to finish her that was so intense she isn't dead <laughs> see i told you it's really not that easy he's really trying to survive right now Ooh. it's not over I don't know, keep bashing her head. <laughs> she needs to be finished, man. She looks okay, dead. She looks dead. With the sheriff. Yeah, I wish he left. Because he just ended up dead. 18 months later. He can walk. Yeah, because she just I thought it would be over for those, <laughs> those legs, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. In some way, Wilkes, no experience, uh, help me. I thought you were over. You keep seeing her everywhere. I still think about it once in a while. I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. Oh, hell no, girl. <laughs> Damn. Number one fan. <laughs> so, the, the sheriff didn't have to die because he didn't help in any way for him to escape, right? So he yeah, wasn't needed. That's what I'm thinking. I was so saying, I wish he left. I wish he left. Yeah. Because his poor wife, like, he cares she's... so much about it, but. Yeah, he... he was really trying to solve the case. Yeah. I guess he shouldn't have. Because he actually helped himself. Damn. Like, he had to fight her end, to escape. Yeah. Like, there's no way the sheriff helped. No. Actually, no. <sighs> wow. His wife is going to be so heartbroken. Yeah, she's so sad and lonely now. Like, yeah. Well, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, she she did real, the actress did real well. Mm -hmm. When she Kathy switched. Bates. Yeah, when she switched into the crazy, like... I don't know. In my opinion, she didn't switch True. from the beginning. She, she was actually... No, I mean, like, when she blows up. Like, oh, she's being mean, so oh, nice yeah, and then yeah. she blows up. Like, True. But 
Is it kind of like she was that way? Like she, you saw the crazy from the beginning. Yeah, we could see it. it like we weren't even like thinking, oh, she's a nice person no, until we were shocked. Like from the first part, it's obvious that she is crazy. Yeah, they didn't try to hide it. No, they didn't. So it's so strange that from we knew from the first part, but then they had so much things going on. It was still entertaining, like you yeah. know. For real. I think Mia Goth, like she kind of acted like that in um, X and Pearl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When she was like, when she's doing the thing, she was unhinged. Unhinged, yeah. kind of like, um, what's her name? Annie. Yeah. Because she was like, when she would switch and she's like, I'm married. Like she's just acting crazy. Yeah, yeah. In um, Pearl, she kind of remind, rem reminded me of um, Annie. Well, seeing X before and Pearl and then seeing this, I'm like, hmm, Mia Goth kind of did like, you know, Annie, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> kind of. Oh. But yeah. I don't know how Paul is even okay right now. He's not. He's so, he's not, but he kind of is. He's yeah. really not so messed up as he should be. He wrote a book and he's okay with it. He said he wrote it for him and stuff like that. Like, yeah, and it's a different book. He didn't even write about what happened to him. He's really he just moving on, even though he does think about her and see her. He, he said that she, it. He said that she kind of helped him. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess misery, oh. writing the misery books was really getting to him because if that traumatic experience um, helped you, which sometimes it does for real, like, you know, in some ways, because it makes you as a person, like it adds to your personality and yeah. your life experience somehow. True. Like, I understand what he's saying, but Annie helped you. <laughs> she broke your legs like twice. <sighs> well, I don't know if she broke his legs the first time because maybe it was the accident that caused it, but she was... Kind of delaying his healing. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She was delaying his healing because she didn't bring him to a hospital and she was giving him pills. I don't know if those pills were actually working. Maybe they were. I don't know. I still think <laughs> that she did something. To his legs, right? Yeah. Just like she um, killed those people to get the top or whatever. Yeah. I think she did that too she so that he that could stay. She killed that nursing student, that top nursing student yeah. to take her to take her spot. And she felt like she she wanted to be important. Mm -hmm. Like she's she's she was his fan, but it's like she wanted to be him or something. Yeah. Or be famous kind of like him and you know, admired by people. But that could never happen because she's crazy. <laughs> She did not get to know the ending. I love that. Yeah, she didn't deserve it. No, she was not making nice. No, if she, if only she actually rescued him from the crash and mm -hmm. took care of him, and then brought him to the hospital, they could have been friends. Like I don't think he would just forget her. Maybe not. True. Maybe not. That's the thing. She knew he would just move on with his life, and yeah. she would just be a nobody. So it's she wanted same. to kill him instead? Like, how would that, how does that work? You're not his number one fan then, like, what? And she kept saying, I love you. And that's love? She's the number one psychopath. <laughs> See, that's the thing, you know, like, you can, when you're famous and stuff, you have people that like you that much, like you so much, that, or love you so much that they hate you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not good. It's really it's sad, actually. <laughs> But this was really, really good. But yeah. you can't expect anything less from Stephen King. True. Stephen King is the man. <laughs> <laughs> it's The plot is crazy. And yeah. I've never read his books, actually. Same. Just watched the movies. And that's how I you know, came about knowing him. Like, it. Which movies did we... Oh, yeah, we watched it. And I and think I watched something else. What was it again? Is it the... Gerald's... Gerald's Game? Gerald's, Gerald's Game. Yeah. And I, th I think I watched um, is it the good, um, the good husband or something like that, or the perfect marriage. Oh. That was, was Stephen, Stephen King, too. King who did the the one with the red rum thing, the one with the twins. Oh, what's, what's that it called again? Um, the Shining. The Shining. Is yeah, that too. Stephen King, right? I think that's yeah. I think think that's yeah. Stephen King too. So we did 
watch that too. Yeah. But imagine the books, like just being engulfed in the, the story, like, yeah. because you have to use your imagination when you're reading books. That's the best part. True. So the books are definitely better than just sitting and watching a movie, but yeah. yeah you have to have the time. You have to have the time. <laughs> I remember when we used to read more. Read a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Reading is so fun. Wow. This was so awesome, though. This was epic, guys. We I hope you it. enjoyed watching with us. And Kathy Bates was great. And yes. the, um, the writer, too. What's his name? Paul? Yeah. Yeah. They did really good. Yeah. The way he acted, he was mimicking her, mm -hmm. like imitating her and being crazy like her. Like, and sarcastic and at times. He was being sarcastic a lot. And she knew it, too. And she thought it was, she's like, you, oh, Paul, you kid her. What? I mean, they were actually in a relationship. They were. <laughs> That's how a lot of relationships are. For real. Because even the, the sheriff and his wife, she also she was also being very sarcastic. <laughs> you know, like she kept saying stuff. And he's like, there's that spice. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. If you did watch the end, guys, comment for to hook below so that we know. And the full reaction is available on Patreon. So go check it out. Until next time, Virtual Hook. Bye. Bye.